use it, but let's find the limit as x goes to 0 of sine 3x over tangent 3x. And um, let's, let's try it with that one property that we just used before. If I divide both, if I multiply both sides by 3x, then this right here is going to become, is going to go to 1. We have that one property. And so I'll have the limit as x goes to 0 of 3x over tangent 3x. Is it 3x and 5x? or yeah, They were both 3x. Yeah. So now I can divide this out. I can flip this to the bottom. And when I flip that to the bottom, a, a 1 stays on the top. So let me rewrite this. This is the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 over tangent 3x over 3x. And tangent 3x over 3x, that goes to 1. So it's 1 over 1, which is just 1. Another way you could have done that is you could have just used algebra to simplify this. That right there equals sine over cosine. Now when I flip and multiply this, cosine x over, sorry, 3x over sine 3x, those cancel out and I just get cosine of 3x. But remember I have the limit as x goes to 0. So that equals the cosine of 0, which just equals 1. So you get the same answer both ways. Either way would work.